Good evening and welcome to Compline. We open in prayer. These words were written by Hilary Faith Jones. We offer them to God now. O oh Lord, grant us the depth of loving that will unfold our hearts into your presence and grant us the depth of faith to step ever closer into the wonder of your love. Amen. Psalm 46 has these words. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in uproar, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us, the Lord of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still. And know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. God is always with us and knows all. Be still in the presence of God. Turn over in your mind the things you have hidden from God today. The things you would rather not expose to God. God is love and open arms long to comfort you. Be still in the presence of God. Breathe in and take the peace offered to you. Breathe out anything you need to leave behind from today. Breathe in that peace. The peace that the world cannot offer. And a reflection called Whispers from the Heart by Hilary Faith Jones. After hearing the words from Genesis chapter 3 verse 9. But the Lord called to the man, where are you?
there are times in my life when I hid from you, Lord. Days when I have had enough and do not want to face you. For I do not want to feel ashamed. Times when all the subtle innuendos from society have slipped under my skin and eaten away at my thoughts. Feeding on fears and prejudices until a selfishness has begun to emerge. And then internally, I lock my mind firmly and foolishly, I shut you out. But then I hear a voice calling me. Where are you? And forgotten love comes pouring back. Forgive me, Lord, for withering my love when I could have shared so much happiness. Forgive me for hiding from you when I needed you most. And thank you for always being there. And you always welcome me home. I invite you now to imagine an ultimate home. A place of comfort, a place of peace. The look in the eyes of Jesus as he approaches you, recognising you as a friend. Are you carrying baggage as you approach? Hand that baggage over to him. He will carry it for you. I invite you to sit a while with him in this place of comfort and peace. If you will, allow him to open the baggage and lay it out on the floor. Where in the baggage of today were the sticking points? Which areas is Jesus pointing to and saying, I was there with you? Without judgment, where is he pointing to as areas of missed opportunity? or self-neglect. Areas to learn from and move on from. Which aspects of blessing would you like to thank him for today? Sit a while in this place of comfort and peace as the baggage is rewrapped and gently fades away.
What have you learned from your day? What will you take forward? What will you leave behind? As we leave this space, take a breath and hear again the verse from Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. Amen. <laughs>